drained all the old gas out of the Magnum. Uh, some tell me to wipe the bottom of the tank. Man. Look what's coming out of it. Sludge. That's ethanol gas when it gets old and breaks down. And I almost put the pump in here and let it ride. I don't know how well that would work. I don't know how well this is going to work. I think about getting another tank. I don't feel like dropping it, pressure washing it. But we're gonna see. I wanna get this thing running and driving. And then I might go back in the tank in it. So I need about five cans of brake cleaner. This side. Got my old trusty slick sitting in here. But I actually do have both uh, fuel pumps now. This side is nowhere near as bad as that other one. So I'm gonna soak up some of that gas. And uh, I'll be back once I get the pumps in. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do some burnouts. It is alive. I got a little check engine light. I need to see what it's on. I don't think I'm gonna put like two or three gallons in it. See that 95963, nice and low mileage, 08 Magnum. Still waiting on it to build a little heat. Let's see if that thing rub up. Well, I done had it for a year. Ain't no telling when the last time it ran. Y'all can see the shit I pull out the gas tank. Stuff I pull out the gas tank, you see that? Had a good time wiping all that up. Uh, I guess I need to quit using it for storage when I was up and running. Do they see Paul? They're running about 20 minutes now. They got to back it out, see if it do a burnout. What you shaking your head? Give me a tie, put on my old rim right there. I gotta drive this thing to work. That's smooth coming out, hopefully. Take that old six cylinder out of there. So it turns out the uh, the new fuel pumps. I actually did get the car going. Um, Oh, actually, I actually got to find the lug nuts. Uh, the guy I bought the car from, he put two lug nuts on each wheel. And uh, I actually got to find them, put lug nuts on all, all the way around it. Uh, get a tire, get the dummy off of there, and then we'll go drive it. And we'll make a video for that, too, and then uh, try to figure out what to do with it. Thinking about throwing a Hemi in that thing, 5.7 Hemi. Or 5.3, I don't know. I don't want to open up too big a can of worms with it. But uh, that would be cool. be a good YouTube car, LS Magnum. But, uh, you know, it could be different and throw him in it. It's a little bit uh, out of my normal realm, but a uh, real mechanic can fix anything, work on anything. And uh, there is money to be made with the newer Hemi money to be made. There is a uh, horsepower to be made, is what I mean, with the newer Hemis. So we'll see. There's something we can uh, play with, have fun with, and uh, see where it goes, see where it goes. Drop a comment, what you think? 5.7 Hemi, 6.1 Hemi, uh, the 392s cost way too much. Uh, 5.3, and that's the funny deal. I get a 5.3 engine and transmission for what the Hemi costs. All right, I did see a Hemi that need to be rebuilt for 300 bucks. I might go with that and you know slap some rings and bearings in it and play with the heads, port them or something. Stick a little cam in it and see what happens. But uh, it's running, I'm gonna drive it for a couple weeks and uh, you know, we'll probably keep it. I bought it to flip it, but uh, we'll probably end up keeping it. I kind of always wanted a wagon, so we'll see. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a
mixa de mão.